Okay, you can run after it, foot trap it. Gives you control over the ball, correct? Okay, another time is when the ball is coming at you. Why would the ball be coming at you? Yes. If somebody kicks it or passes it to you, yes, you foot trap it to stop it and control the ball. Okay, so we're looking for uh, foot traps all over the place. We'll see foot traps at our dribbling station, we'll see foot, steps, uh, foot traps at our passing station, and we'll also see foot traps at our shooting station. Hold on, can you hold that thought for one second, Sarai? Okay. So we have four different targets today, that's our first target. Second target is I can pass the soccer ball using my inside and outside foot, okay? We worked on this a little bit last week. Um, the inside, inside kick, which we all know is the inside, what do we call that? What's another name for our inside kick? Does anybody remember? Raise your hand, can please. Sarai? No, another name for our inside kick. Our inside kick. Start. Thank you. Say it louder. Shoelace. Shoelace kick. We call it a shoelace kick. Why do we call it a shoelace kick? You're pretty much kicking with your shoelace, right? So we're looking for people that can pass a soccer ball using the inside, a shoelace kick, and the outside of your foot, okay? And you're trying to hit your target. We'll go over what our targets are going to be. Another target, and I don't want to overwhelm you today. We've been doing a lot of these, so a lot of you have already gotten a lot of practice at this stuff. I can dribble a soccer ball using the inside and outside of both feet, okay? So we have four different dribbling stations today. Uh, our dribbling lines, I guess you'll call them with poly spots. Each line starts with a ball, so this line right here is the red ball. This, was, this one's the purple, this is the blue, and this is the green over here, okay? Once you go to that station, you will get a ball, and you will come down your row or your line of poly spots, trying to go in and out of the poly spots using your inside and outside foot, okay? And let me demonstrate what I mean by this. Because we tried it last week, um, but we need some more practice at it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to kick with the out inside foot for a little while, and then you can try to go with the outside foot, okay? You can use inside, outside, the ball gets away from you. What do we need to do? Foot trap. Foot trap. And then we continue on, okay? Using the inside touches, inside touches, and then outside touches, okay? Foot trap, bring it back. Everybody understand? Questions, comments, or concerns about that? Yes, all right. It's not about that. Well, then hold it for a second, Ronald. Right? Well, we're not going to get a soccer game today. We're going to do our stations for today for a little while. Here's the deal, though. If we get through all of our soccer stations, we're going to be about five minutes at each station. We will try to play a soccer game at the end. Deal? Yeah. And if we don't get one today, Ron, we will definitely get one next week. Okay? Promise. Okay, so once you get to the end of your station, once you come to the end of your row, the last five spot, you're going to turn around you're going to go back this way. Okay? You're going to stay in your line for the entire time. Yes? Question. Plus five? Yes. I will give you probably a check, uh, a check or a star um, on my clipboard when I come around. I have a clipboard that has all of our targets listed out and your names down, and there's these four different targets, and I will give you a check or a star to tell you and myself that you've mastered that. Does that answer your question? Okay. Our last target, we're almost done, we'll get started. Our last target is I can shoot a soccer ball using my what type of kick? Uh, yes. Inside foot or shoelace kick. We're kick. Every time we shoot a ball, most times you want to shoot with your shoelace kick or your inside kick. Okay? It gives you the most control. Okay? It gives you the best accuracy. And accuracy means you're shooting to a target area and you're hitting that target area. Yeah. Why don't we want to kick with our toes? Um, what's your name, Dish? Justin. I forgot. Justin. Why don't we want to kick with our toes, Justin? Can you answer that? Yes, you're right. But the question was, why don't we want to kick with our toes? Mm, maybe. Because we don't have what when we kick with our toes? We don't have shoelaces. Well, we don't have shoelaces, that's for sure. We don't have very good control of the ball. Once in a while when I kick with my toe, I, it might go where I want it to go, but most times it's going to go right or left. You're not going to have very good accuracy. That's why we're trying to use our inside and our outside foot. Okay? Hold your thought. Here's our stations for the day. Let me go over our stations real quickly, and then I will split you up and we will get into them. We have a jump rope station over here. Okay? 
This is our little cardio station. You can go forward, you can go backwards, you can go one foot, you can go two foot. Any type of, any type of jump rope uh, position or way you want to jump rope, it's all good to go, okay? If you need to take a little break, take a little break and then get going again, okay? Over here, we have what we're going to call um, pattern passing. Can I get three volunteers real quick for pattern passing? One, two, three. Let's go. Three up. It's okay. If you didn't get a chance, you'll get a chance in a minute. Give it a big circle right here. This is pattern passing. You're going to pass to one person. Every time you get the ball back, you're going to pass to that same person. And your goal over here is to use inside foot of right and left and outside foot of right and left. So I'm going to pass to Raquel. Please go back a little bit. Raquel's going to pass to Anthony. Anthony's going to pass to my Shay, okay? And then my Shay, who are you going to pass to that? Back to me. Here we go. I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to kick to the shoelace kick over to Raquel. You ready, Raquel? Raquel's going to foot trap, which gets a beautiful job. Now you can kick it with any foot you want to. She shows the left foot. Oh, go run after get a foot trap. Good. Foot trap again. Beautiful. Nice foot trap. Time. One more thing we really want to work on is communication in here, okay? And we should have this as a target, too. Call the person's name out that you're passing to. I know that we're doing pattern passing. I know it's going to be the same person every time. But get into the habit of calling the person's name out that you're passing to so they know the ball's coming to you. Here we go, my chef. Good. And I'll foot trap. I used my right foot last time. This time I'm going to use my left foot. Raquel, here we go. Okay? If the ball doesn't come right to you, you might have to step to the side and foot trap. Okay? Time. Are we good on pattern passing? Okay, you guys can go sit down. Thank you for, thank you for uh, helping out. Over here, we've done shootout before. We'll have four people at this station. I need all eyes and ears on me, please. And sitting up. Remember, the game of soccer, only one person on the, on the field or on the court can touch the ball with their hands. What's that person's name? Um, let's see. Amaya. The goal. Okay? And we've had some problems with this. If you're the goalie, do you want to stand on the outside of the net or do you want to stand on the inside of the net? Outside. Outside of the net. You do not want to stand inside of it because if you stand inside and you catch the ball, it's going to be a goal because there's an imaginary line there and the ball's going to cross that plate. Hold on one second. Okay? So the goalie's the only person in soccer who can touch with their hands. That's why we use foot trap instead of stopping it with our hands. One person is going to get the ball. We have two goals right next to each other. One person's going to get the ball, one person's going to be in goalie on this side. One person's going to shoot on this side, one person's going to be in goal. No one's going to, we, we know what we're doing here. Okay? You're going to shoot three to four, maybe five times, and then you're going to switch. So if I shot first, I'm going to take four or five shots using my shoelace trick, or shoelace kick, trying to beat the goalie and score a goal. After my five shots are up, then I'm going to go try to be goalie, and he's gonna, he or she's going to try to score on me. Everybody understand? Okay. Over here. We have our core exercise station. I need all eyes and ears on me. That means turn around, please. Turn around, please. Thank you. I have our core exercise station. I have four different core exercises. Do you have to do all of them? No. No. You can do one of them the whole time. You can do, I encourage you to try them all, though. Okay? You don't have to do them all. I encourage you to try as many as you can. Okay? We have Superman or what we call back extensions. We have cycling, which is laying on your back and pretend like you're riding a bike. We've all done that one before. We have pointers, and we also have kneeling twists. That one's pretty much self-explanatory over here. At this station, we have one more passing station. This is Monkey in the Middle, okay? Here's what's gonna happen to Monkey in the Middle, Justin. Justin, here's what's gonna happen to Monkey in the Middle. Three people are gonna be around one person. The one person in the middle is trying to touch the ball with their feet or their legs. Okay? If the person in the middle touches the, the ball with their feet or legs, that person now has to go to the outside. Let's show this for a second. Jovan, come with me. Um, Sarai, you can come. Kyra, you can come. Let's go. I'll be in the middle first. You three are going to be on the outside. You do not want me to touch the ball. So Kyra, over here, please. You do not want me to touch the ball. The middle person does not want to. You want the three people on the outside, I want to keep it away from the person in the middle. Do these three have to stay in one spot? No. 
No, they can move around. If I'm Joe Bond and Mr. Wave is in the middle of my line, I can move to an open space that Mr. Wave is not in the line. Okay? That's a key over here. Move to the open space. So if I were you two, you want to move. If I'm right here, Sarai, you're not going to want to stay there. You're going to want to move over here. If I'm here, Joe Bond, you're going to want to move there or there to get open. Okay? Ready to go? Here we go. We're playing monkey in the middle. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I touched it. The last person to touch it before me was Soraya. Okay, here we go, Soraya. You ready? Ready? You just get to stay there? Takara. Oh! Time. Takara, what did she do? She touched the ball with her? Her hand. Okay? Can't touch the ball with your hand. Oh, it, you didn't touch the ball with your hand. You touched the ball with your hand. You kicked it without a foot trap, though, didn't you? Try to get a foot trap every time you didn't have control of it. Right, here we go. Foot trap? Good. Good, get it? Ah! So Soraya touched the ball, now the tire in the middle. All eyes and ears over here, Ronald, please. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's allowed to touch the ball with their hands? Okay, here we go. Call a person's name out before you pass it to him. Mr. Wayman! Go on! Move without the ball, Joe Bond, move without the ball. Ah, okay. Do we have it down? Yeah. Okay. You guys need to go sit down. Go sit down, Sarai, please. All right, it's nuts. So we have jump rope, pattern passing, shoot out, monkey in the middle, dribbling, and jump rope. Okay, four stations. We're going to rotate between all of them today. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. I'll be, broke, I'll be walking around if you need anybody to any help. One, two, three, four. You're at my dribbling station first. Don't start yet. Wait till the music starts. One, two, three, four. You are going to go at the jump off station. Not you. I didn't, I didn't tell you to go there. I said one, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't think I said it's oh, Yeah, you're right. Let's go. One, two, three, four. And you're going to go to my pattern passing. Try to call each other's names up before you pass. Oh. 